Welcome back to Maths Class students. In today's class, we will be learning Block 4, Introduction to Comparison, and S1 that is smaller and bigger. Okay, so today we will look at so many things and we will compare which one is smaller and which one is bigger. Okay, students, now your keywords for today's class are smaller and bigger. Now look at these pictures, a shark and a goldfish. Which one is big here? The shark is bigger than this goldfish and the goldfish is smaller than the shark, right? So the shark is bigger, B-I-G-G-E-R, bigger and the goldfish is smaller. S-M-A-L-L-E-R, smaller. Now, if you look at so many things around your house also, you can see so many things that are bigger than the other and some things are smaller than the other, okay? Now, look at this dinosaur. And here comes a tarantula. Now, we all know that dinosaurs are very huge, humongous, very big like giant kind of animals, right? And a spider, this is a big spider, yes, of course, but it is smaller than a dinosaur. And a dinosaur here, we can see it is bigger than a spider. Okay, so a spider is smaller and a dinosaur is bigger. You see here, bigger. B-I-G-G-E-R, bigger. And... The spider is smaller than the dinosaur. S-M-A-L-L-E-R. Smaller. Now here is a tree. And a paintbrush. You see this paintbrush? Now the tree is way much bigger than a paintbrush. And a paintbrush is smaller than the tree. Okay? The tree is bigger than the paintbrush and the paintbrush is smaller than the tree. Okay, students. Now, if you look at these words here, we have the words tree, pen, book, pencil box and lunch box. And on the right side, I have flower, chalk, eraser, sharpener and spoon. Now, let us compare these two, okay, to see which one is bigger and which one is smaller. Now, which one is bigger and smaller? Here we can see that a tree, and as we all know, a tree is bigger than a flower. And a flower, we can say, is smaller than a tree. A pen is bigger than a chalk. Or we can say a chalk is smaller than a pen. Now, if you look at your book and your eraser, keep your eraser on your book and look which one is bigger, okay? You will see that the book is bigger than the eraser and the eraser is smaller than a book. Now, we keep a sharpener inside our pencil box, right? Why? Because a sharpener is smaller than a pencil box. So that means a pencil box is bigger than a sharpener. Now lunch box. Lunch box is the tiffin box, okay, that you keep your lunch, that you bring lunch to school every day. Now a lunch box is bigger than a spoon. And we can also say that a spoon is smaller than a lunch box. Do you understand students? Are you clear? about bigger and smaller things. I want you to open your maths workbook to page 17 and you will see S1 smaller and bigger. Let us look at question 1 here, okay? Question 1 here says name two things that are bigger than you. Two things, you need to name two things that are bigger than you, okay? Now, what is bigger than you? Look around you, okay? And see the things that are bigger than you, you will write down here and here. Okay? 
and then number two here says circle the smaller thing and underline the bigger thing look at these pictures in picture a we have an elephant and an ant now for a bigger thing you will need to underline and for a smaller thing you will just circle you understand same you will do with b and c and question here says draw a thing that is bigger than a pencil as you can see in this blank box here a pencil is given and the question asks you to draw something that is bigger bigger than a pencil so you can draw that here okay students so it's all for today's class all the best and i'll see you in the next class thank you